Hello, welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Two Dogs by Ann Falconer. Well, these little dachshunds, they kind of get bored during the day while their mom and dad and the family's all gone out to work and to school and everything. So they get tired of staying in the house. Well, one day they sneak out. Let's see what happens. Two dogs, dachshunds, dignified, slightly imperious, with an equiline nose and noble profiles. Indeed, they look like Roman emperors, except when they look like this. Most of the time, Augie looked more serious. Perry was all over the place. When they were puppies, everyone loved Augie and Perry and played with them all the time. But over the years, the children had gone off to school. The parents were at work. And like so many other dogs, they were left alone all day, most days. They were bored. Most of the time, they spent barking at squirrels in the backyard. Sometimes Perry would steal Augie's ball. The ball was very important to Augie. Please, Perry, give me my ball. Perry, please give me back my ball. Give me back my ball. No. Fine. Augie, where are you going? Please, Augie. No, not the piano. Perry howled in agony. Finally, Perry returned the ball. We can't go on fighting like this. We have to escape. How can we open the door? Perry started barking at the lock. That didn't work. Stop jumping, Perry. I'll do it. Augie neatly flipped the lock. First thing they did was water the mother's new flowers. They found some raccoon poop and happily rolled around in it. They loved the swings. And the seesaw. Then Perry wanted to go swimming. Augie wasn't at all sure about this. Perry just went for it. Belly flop. Augie nailed it. Look, Augie, a hole. It might be a mouse. It might be a mole. But we can't dig up the lawn, said Augie. We'll get into trouble. But we'll get to dig. Dachshunds loved to dig, and in the end, Augie couldn't resist. Then they heard the car drive up. They hightailed it back to the house. Now Perry was the one who was worried. We're going to get in trouble, Augie. No, we're not. Just do what I do. Hurl yourself up at the door and bark. Oh my goodness, the mother shrieked. What happened? Who on earth dug that hole? A squirrel. It was huge. Huge, echoed Perry. Huge, with big fangs and giant claws and... Enough, Perry. Now you're just humiliating yourself. It didn't matter, really, because the mother never learned to speak dog. Oh, my little angels, the mother cooed. You deserve an extra treat tonight. They had the mother fooled. And although sometimes they still disagreed... Once and again, Augie, I saved the day. No, you didn't. At least they were, for the most part, friends again. Well, one was a little mischievous and the other was a little nervous, but he would just go along, didn't he? Sometimes we need to not go along with our friends if they're doing something they shouldn't be doing, right? I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And don't forget to like and subscribe.